Next three exercises are gonna be chest, back, and tries. Again, um, you're gonna do push-ups, followed by reverse flies, and then tricep extensions. Uh, this one does not have a cardio burst in it. This series does not, but doing the exercises back to back will give you a cardio effect as well. As you get down in your push-up position, if you need to start on your knees, you just you just um, start on your knees. Three, you can start on two, your hands. One, you start on your hands. exercise one. And um, you can always switch to your knees. If you do go from your knees, try to keep your back straight so that when you go down, you're maintaining a straight position and not in that position. Three, two, one, exercise one. Grab your weight, going right to a reverse fly. You wanna to try to use a low enough weight that you're able to resist on the way down and that you're not um, bouncing back and forth like that. You wanna maintain a nice, slow and controlled motion. You're really squeezing Three, the shoulder blades two, in the back. One. Drop exercise down. one. Get that weight ready. Go right to a tricep extension. Keep those elbows in tight. And again, the only part moving is your forearm. You can stand with your feet apart. Well, again, when you're doing this type of exercise, you want to always um, keep your hips tucked. If you three, your back, two, one, injury, exercise or, one. If you stand with your back arched, you can feel your stomach is not really engaged. If you do a slight tuck of your hips and then feel your stomach, you'll feel it's engaged. You're protecting your lower back. So every time you do standing up, you want to keep your hips slightly tucked to keep that stomach engaged.